Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. What I want to do today is take this embossing folder, emboss this paper, maybe give it a little sanding, and maybe maybe do a little coloring on it. We'll see how it turns out. Um, let me cut this to size. I'm going to do a 5x7. And then because this is going to be kind of small on there, I think I'm going to like uh, maybe double mat it. So first I'm going to take this in here. Okay. And I'm just going to trim around the edges of the folder. I want to get it in there straight as possible. I don't really want to be trimming around it because it's going through the diamond press. At the most, I want to just barely trim it later on. So, I think this should make for a pretty simple card. Of course, whenever I think it's going to be simple, I end up, you know, having to do more than I think, and it ends up being... Uh, if you hear my bird, that's baby. And just because there's something on the TV with birds going, baby's going. So that's would be why you're doing that. Let's see how this worked. Looks like it's going to be good. Oh, yeah, it looks good. Can you tell? Looks real good. Okay, I got my little sanding block, and I don't know if this will sand it. Uh, if I can grab it good enough. It doesn't have a lot of sand power to it. I just want to sand it a little bit. get some of that glossy off it doesn't look like it wants to really sand it I might have to get something else I don't know if I have anything close by to use I've been had this for a long time now and I think that's why it doesn't want to really work anymore. But it's bringing the picture out a little bit. You can definitely see the difference. Can you tell? It's not really getting it all, but it's, it's making a little bit of difference. Now here's a thing, to be really fairly artistic with this, if you want to go that way, you may want to just pick one thing and just color the one thing instead of all of it. I'm just trying all the different sides to see. This one looks like it's doing the best. Okay. This one looks like it's doing the best job so far. It's getting it slowly. At least it's gentle, right? At least it's gentle. And that's another thing. Am I lowering the raised of it? No, I'm not. It's coming slowly. You can get those edges too. I 
get to, you just gotta take your time. This flower just really doesn't wanna. And you don't have to get it all off. The reason I'm trying to is um, basically because I want to add color. And with it being coated like it is and smooth, because this is like the, um, you know, like that Centura Pearl. It's like that. It's a pearlescent paper, which means it's smooth. So it won't really hold the color real, real great. <coughs> Excuse me. That flower does not want to give it up at all. That doesn't do nothing, that one. Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and try and see what happens. I should have maybe had some paper towel in here. Just to dab it. Just in case. Oh, you know what? I've got a dried up wipe. Maybe that'll work. Okay. So then I'm going to get and pick some colors and see. I want to do. I'm going to start with the butterfly here and then I'm going to see if I feel like I want to do more or not. And I think I'm going to use, I wonder if I should just do the red. No, I'm going to do the purple. I don't want too much color on it, but. Okay, it's very light. So I'm just going to try to get just a little bit on that butterfly. Okay, so here's the butterfly. Now, can it wipe off of these? Nope. It's not going to wipe off. It's still there. Now, can it mute that a little bit? There we go. And a little bit more over here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other butterflies because I don't like just the one butterfly purple. And so it's, it wasn't sanded good enough really, so you can see it's really not holding the color super, super well. Let me get the butterflies. Okay. There we go. It's very muted looking. I don't have a problem with that. And it just might kind of buff it up. This there. Okay. Now I want. So I could leave it there if I was happy with it. And I'm really not because I got purple on the green. So that makes me want to use the green now. If I hadn't got purple on the green stuff, you know, what would have been green? 
I might have been happy and left it alone, but that bothers me. <laughs> so, my thing is if I put the green on and then it mixes and blends, then it looks more on purpose. It doesn't look like it was an accident, if that makes sense. Okay, so that was easy, and I'm going to come in with this, and kind of buff that out a little bit. It's not really taking any off, it's still staying on, so what I thought about the pearl card was wrong, it's keeping it, it's holding it, it's just not real strong. Okay, so now the question is, do I want to do the flowers? And if I do want to do the flowers, what color? And I might go in with just a little bit of orange. It's because I don't really want the flowers to stand out too much. And since the paper's this gold yellow color... I think the orange is just going to make it, really that more looks yellow than orange, it's not, that is yellow. Boom. Guess I didn't need to sand it, but you can kind of tell where it's sanded, it held color a little bit more. Okay, so really that's all I'm going for is right here. Um, I either need to trim this a little bit neater. Yep, I need to do that. I was going to say, or, or sand it down or, you know, something to do a little bit of... Um, roughing it up, which might look good, doing that little bit of, like, rip on it, but, but, uh, I don't know that I can do that nicely at this point, not over enough, I just barely want it. Just barely want to trim on it. Just to get some nicer edges on it. I did use my scissors after all, you know. Like right here. <laughs> so I want that straightened out. And here's where I used the scissors also. So I want to straighten that out. So now it should be a lot nicer. this over here okay and I want um, I think a color and a pattern so I'm gonna put you on hold while I grab some papers all right so I'm having a hard time deciding between I do like the purple so, and we could do, you know, show some white and then the purple and then this pink or this purple. And that's got me. I just don't know. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go with this pink. I think it just kind of stands out makes this stand out a little bit better so I think my first step is to figure out how big I want this let me measure this this is four and an eighth 
So if I make this four, let's see, four and an eighth. So if I make this four, no, is that four and an eighth? Yeah, four and an eighth. If I make this four and a half, yeah, I think so. And then this is five and a half, so four and a half by six, by five and a half, four and a half by six, sir. Darn it. By six. So I'll cut the six first, no, the four and a half. First. And then I'm going to do by six. And maybe not quite as big as I wanted it to be. Gosh darn it. And now I got this purple. So... It's a five by seven card. Yeah, I didn't do that as big as I wanted it. Um, let's see, it's a five by seven card, so I'm gonna go. Seven. Cut that off right there. Right there. So now it is six and a half by six. Six and a half might not be long enough. Well, it's pink. The card is pink. So, I'm going to go four and a half. Let's see what we get. I don't know. I'm just guessing here now. They're not... At least a real big pink border. Let's see. See, so that will have to be smaller now. Which means... It's going to have to be real small, and that's not what I wanted. Well, that's what it's going to have to be, I think. I think... Lengthwise, it's okay, but widthwise, it's too big. Let's see what we get. Because now that's so small. I messed up, didn't I? Uh. I guess that purple piece just wasn't big enough, and now I messed it up. It still looks all right. It's not really the look I was going for, but I'm going to use it. I'm just going to start putting it down and using it. Let's see. Oh, man, I don't know if you saw that. Okay. Make sure my card's the right way.
Okay. Let's open that. Let me get this centered. Any of you have dish, have you ever watched dish scapes and watched and try to find all the different things that are happening on the screen? That's what I got on right now. I was watching that and the birds are singing and that's why my bird was hearing those birds and kind of going crazy. That's baby in there. See, this looks okay. Then I go to put the here on it. And it's just not wide enough. I could take some off the side of this. But I'm afraid that then that would look too small. Maybe if I just take it. Now, yeah, I'm not going to Yep, I'm gonna place a tiny bit off. Just a little bit of. Just a little bit. Yeah, that makes it better, right? That makes it better. Well, that's a lot of matting on a card, but. Let's see if we can make it look right with the, um, you want to put the glue on good where it's embossed so that you know it's going to stick good. Because you got parts of it that's down, right? So you just want to make sure the rest of it's good. Okay, and then I got some sentiments here. Came from that one card kit from Violet Studios, and I really wasn't that crazy about the kit, but these look like they're gonna go with it. Celebrate. Or we could do just to say thanks. There's also a thank you. Thanks. Let's see if it's. I guess they're all the same color. This words are gonna be the same. They're all pretty much all the things are the same. There's a thanks and there is a thank you somewhere. Thank you. Pretty close to the same color. I like the little tail on this one. So just to say thank you. Not every day my cards turn out the way I want them to be, right? I mean, it still didn't because um, my matting is so off. But I'm just going to have that down a little bit. Let me. I know I've 
got some of these little things here. I'm just putting a on there. Cut that off. Okay, that'll keep that resin up and I'll do a little glue here and a little bit of glue there. Just to say thank you. There we go. What do you think? Did it work out all right? I I like it. The colors here, so they. I was more thinking muted looking, but these inks are pretty bright, right? And I must have used yeah, I used like the pastel paradise ones. They're pretty bright, so. That's all right, though. I think it still looks good. I'm happy with it. All right. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me. If you like my videos, hit, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye now.